Hi, I'm Paul Drew. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up Scuff MS gear in Apple GarageBand. Let's get to it. When you start GarageBand, you need to choose what type of track you want to record to. For audio, we have two choices. We can either choose this one, which is connected guitar or bass, to play and record through virtual amps and effects. This choice is for if you want to use GarageBand's own amp and effects plugins. As we're gonna be using Scuff MS gear, we need to choose the other option, which is record using a microphone or line input or drag and drop audio files. I need to make sure that this box is ticked as I want to hear my instrument as I play and record. Push the create button and an audio track is instantly created ready to record. By default, GarageBand loads some effects into the insert channels, which ideally need to be removed before we start. So simply click on the right-hand side of the plugin and choose no plugin to give us a blank insert slot. Now we can load S gear into the first slot of our inserts. To do that, click on the insert area, go down to audio units, across the scuff of amps and choose S gear. Let's choose a preset to start with. I'm gonna choose edgy jackal delays. GarageBand has automatically armed the track and enabled the software monitoring so we're able to hear the guitar processed with S gear. The tempo by default is set to 120 BPM. So if you want to adjust that, you can do that here. And to record, all I have to do is push the record button. Now I can play back my recording using the play button. Because GarageBand has recorded the raw DI'd guitar signal, I can then, if I wish, change or adjust the preset in S gear until I find the sound that I'm happy with. I'm going to choose a different preset. Let's choose CE1 style chorus and play back. I really hope you guys got something out of that and I'll see you next time. Cheers.